What up, PPs? Welcome to another video on... I crashed. Uh, welcome to another video on the channel, Forza Horizon 4. I'm driving a brand new car. This is a brand new Porsche... Uh, 928 GTS. The way to get this thing, pretty easy. Get 50% on a spring season. Just do whatever it is that you want to do here and get yourself to 50%. Uh, that's it. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, test drive this thing, see what it's like. Obviously, this isn't your classic Porsche. You know, this isn't the, the same as, like, the 911s. This isn't rear engine. This isn't, uh, this isn't a flat engine either. This is a V8. It's a V8 with... Actually, I'll let you know exactly what the specs of this thing are. 5.3, 5.4 liter V8. Front engine, rear wheel drive, 345 horsepower, 500 newton meters of torque, 1,600 kilos. It's a, it's a beefy GT car. That's that's what this is supposed to be. That's what this Porsche here is supposed to be. There's a lot of traffic apparently for some reason on this this little needle climb here. Um, obviously you know what's going to happen. I'm going to end up sliding this thing eventually, so that's why I'm sort of here. I'm going to test drive it. The tires are terrible. Before before I even like do any sort of proper driving, I've immediately spun out. The lateral grip of these tires are awful. They are horrific. I guess sideways, and then I have zero grip. You know, some cars you kind of have grip, you can push yourself along and stuff like that. This thing, you get sideways, and it just... You just yeet yourself into every barrier possible. Not extremely powerful. It does have good torque, actually. I mean, it has 500 newton meters of it. A little heavy. Look how far sideways it goes. Come on, man. Use those tires. They're there to grip. Not these ones, apparently. But yeah, it's a it's a decent car. It's a it's a decent little car, or a decent base, I should say, for what we're going to be doing to it, which is most likely making it drift. I definitely do think we're going to be able to do quite a decent amount of upgrades for this thing. I mean, obviously the bonnet is absolutely massive, which actually does make a difference, by the way, for people that don't know why I'm saying that, is for big cars, for big-ish cars, cars like this, for example, we are going to have, usually, the way it works, uh, we are going to have some good engine options to change to. Like, if this was a really, really tiny Porsche, like, it'll be kind of dumb for them to be able to let me put in like a massive v12 in it or a v8 or whatever in it if it was a really really tiny car but because it is bigger it let me do it usually if it's like small it'll let you put like the uh the rally engine in it and that's pretty much it you know nothing nothing else not i'm not saying that just for porsches in general in this game but like for any car so there's a little bit of realism there i guess but um yeah, you can only put like the 1.6 liter rally engine in it, which kind of makes sense. Anyway, um, yeah, it's 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 not very fast now, uh, and obviously, it lacks any sort of grip whatsoever. So I'm gonna change a lot of that for for our build here. I'm gonna get this thing to go sideways, but I'm also gonna be able to make it so I can control it properly. It's only a B class car as well. The headlights are so weird on this thing. It's such a strange, strange. Set up for the headlights. So there's our, there's our V8. Everything's nice and compact in there. But yeah, I close this, go to the headlights, and then just go whoop. <laughs> they are like pop-up headlights, but they're always visible. They're sort of reversed. Weird, weird, weird headlights on this thing. Anyway, um, right. Let's let's upgrade this thing. What the hell did I just go into? Auction house. Let's not do that. Any sort of Easter egg things here? No. I like I like checking these sometimes. Usually there's some Easter egg stuff, but usually the 8.6 is... Well, not usually, but like the 8.6 was the one that had some Easter eggs. So we could put a 6.2 V8, 4 liter flat 6, which is very good, which is probably most likely what I'm going to change this engine to, which is obviously another Porsche engine. Uh, most likely from the 911 GT... GT3 4 liter, I think. It's where this engine comes from. There's a bunch of different 911s that have a 4 liter flat 6, but I'm going to guess that that's where that engine comes from. Um, yeah, I'm going to put it on. I'm going to turn this engine back into, or not this engine, but this Porsche back into a flat 6 engine. 
Uh, car. I'm gonna keep this thing as a rear wheel drive. Actually, should I keep it as a rear wheel drive? I think I can get this thing to be really, really fast. I may go back to the main map, because usually the flat six engines that we have produce some serious, serious power. Um, I'm not gonna change anything on it visually, because it look like pretty much anything looks ugly on it. Grip, we need grip. I'm putting race tires on this thing, I don't really care. Well, it has 225s on the front, so there you go, and 255s on the back. My car, in real life now, my BMW, has wider and thicker tires than this thing does. And it's not making anywhere near the power, which is ridiculous. As for our wheels, I want to go with something that suits this quite a bit. Um, I kind of like the rotiform wheels, so I might go with these. They're very Porsche-esque as well, except they have a lot of dish. Uh, this is also going to be a lot lower. I knew immediately as soon as as soon as soon uh, I got this car what sort of wheels I was going to put on it as well. Um, put 18s on it. Track width, bring that out a lot. As obviously, I'm going to get this thing to be a lot lower. I love the color of this thing. This like olive green-ish brown color. It's so, so sick. There's a bunch of different cars that I really, really like this thing. I think 240s or whatever, S13s um, with this color look very, very good. Um... Uh, the VW Scirocco's, the old ones, they look really, really good. They're, like, pretty much, this is such a, like, older generation color. Like, for, for older cars, it just look really, really good. This has to go lower, by the way. This has to go lower. Yeah, maybe all-wheel drive is the co Actually, it makes a thousand horsepower. I think I should be able to push this thing along with a thousand horsepower. 950, 955 newton meters of torque, obviously twin turbo. Only weighs 1,300 kilos. So... Looks wise, it looks great. Power is decent. Our wheels are obviously going to be a lot wider now, so I should be able to have a lot of grip. Plus, the race tires on it now as well. Yeah, it's not going to be fast in a straight line. Uh, I thought it was going to be, but I don't think it is. I mean, it's still going to do a two. Might actually do 270. What's the graph saying? 260 something? 262? Okay, well, we don't need it to do 262 on the needle clamp, so I'm going to leave that the way it is. Differential, I'm going to just lock, pretty much. Uh, acceleration, deceleration, doesn't matter, just keep the other 100. Uh, spring rate, this is as low as it goes, so I can't get this thing to be any lower than what it is now. I'll leave everything else the way it is for the moment, and I'll change it afterwards. Um, what are the standard colors of this thing? What, what did this car come from? The factory with, what sort of colors? There's a lot of them. This is a very sick color. Very, very cool. This is also really nice. This orange. The blue suits it. There's some nice colors. It's always the older cars. The older cars always have really, really cool colors. Man, this looks good. I really, really like this. Um, for the wheels, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to change some stuff on this. So the barrel, I'm going to do inner barrel, right? I'm going to make that chrome, first of all. I don't think we'll be able to see much of that anyway, but I'm going to make that chrome. Because I'm going to do the outer lip as well as chrome. So, paint group. Do outer lip. Yep. Since they're three-piece wheels. Make that chrome as well. Do that. Paint group one would be that center bit, which I am going to make sort of like a brushed aluminium. Mm, eh. It actually doesn't look that good. I thought it was going to look a lot better than that, but I guess it doesn't. Silver just looks good on it. I don't really want to paint the chrome. Yeah, this silver that's on it now I think looks really good. And then paint group 2, I think, is the background, which is all that bit. Uh, That, I don't mind it being chrome as well. But the wheels just sort of look like that. I kind of like that. That silver looks so much better than... I thought, like, brushed aluminium or whatever, it's still going to have a little bit of a shine to it. But not, like, fully matte the way it looks in this. Um, right. Well, I'm pretty much done with this thing. Obviously, I need to tune it, but I'll do that after I drive it now. All that power going to the rear wheels now, as well. Uh, we'll see what it's like for grip, but again. Oh, it looks so good. That's a lot of steering angle, actually. That is a bunch of steering angle.
Okay, I can put the power down. <laughs> it is quick. Jesus. Okay. It's so much faster than before. Oh, it has so much more grip as well. There, I'm just being stupid. I just went way too fast. But it has so much more grip here. I can see it. I mean, sideways, I have to actually force it. And because it has all of this power. It's easy to just hold sideways. But I'm going uphill now. I'm not even going downhill. With gravity helping me. I'm going against gravity. This is, I think, one of the engines that actually does sound kind of decent in this game. The flat six Porsche engines, I think they, they sound really good in this game. There's not a lot of engines that sound good in this game. Because they just like sort of ruin it. Actually, it's not even the engines. I feel like it's like Gran Turismo. Back in the day, Gran Turismo just felt like they had engine sounds and then they like really, really heavily synthesized them. But it felt like the engine sound was recorded next to the transmission because it was just a whine every time. It's just like in the background of every single engine sound, you know? And it just sounded like every single car had like a proper, fully raced out transmission. Which some cars in, in Forza have. You know, obviously when you have those type of transmissions, like sequential gear... Oh, I can't speak, Jesus. Like sequential transmissions and stuff like that. Like, they're so loud. Like in real life as well, but it just sounded like every car in Gran Turismo had that. Back in the day. But this, again, it sounds like it comes from the engine, the sound. It's not like the exhaust sound. See, it's a bit synthesized at the top. Um, it also has the turbo whistle and all that, but anyway. I've done all that, driving this thing stock. Uh, it's, it's okay, it's not bad. Uh, I'm gonna mess with my tune, and I'll take it downhill. Uh, I need to change my gear ratios as well. Those are pretty bad. Let me sort of slide a little easier. Gear ratios are slightly adjusted as well. Use all of that third gear. I'm liking this. I am very much liking this. I can extend slides so easy. Don't even have to change gear, just use third for every single corner. Just sort of let go of gas a little bit. And the thing just keeps going and going and going. This is proper grip. Now this is grip like I can use to my advantage. Like I'm properly pushing the car along. This is a nice. This is a nice car. Very balanced. Most cars that are front engine rear wheel drive, you know, they have really, really good balance, especially once they're modified and all that sort of stuff. And you have them drive literally the way you want to. It's just so easy to control when you're sliding. Absolute treat to drive this thing. It genuinely is. Like, such a such a nice experience driving this thing. Damn. I honestly do wish I could get it a little lower. Right now it's a little too high, uh, in my opinion. I feel like a little lower would make this thing look nicer, but the track width makes a huge, huge difference, because before this thing looked so old school, so old fashioned, but now, oh, I l look at the tires and everything. Look how wide they are now on the back. 
This is the 255s that we had before. What a cool car. And I love this paint as well. The paint looks so good on it. Right then. I think that'll be it for the 928 GTS. Yeah, it, it's a really, really cool car. I really like it. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you want to see more videos like this on the channel, of course, subscribe. And of course, hopefully Forza keeps giving us really, really cool cars. I like the retro stuff. I love every time they add like an older car into the game instead of like, you know, brand new modern cars into the game. Like, I love all these old, old things. Like, so the, the more the merrier, if you ask me. Like, I love these things. So, yeah. Anyway, that's going to be it. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.